What is up, everyone? Good morning. Can you hear me? Let me know in chat, please. We're using the YouTube chat. You're one of my people. We are using the chat in YouTube, my friends. Can y'all hear me? Got some scans and screens up here. How's everyone doing this morning? Where's everyone joining me from? We're jumping right into the scans this morning. All right, we're jumping right into the scans. Um, we're right in the middle of this free 30-day mentorship right now. I'll give you guys more details on that, but but uh, we've got quite a bit to go through this morning. Not too much on the scan that's interesting, okay? Not too much on the scan that's interesting. Croatia, sweet. Germany. Denmark, Italy. It's wild to me that y'all find the trading over there and pretty cool. All right. Um, the theme of this morning is scanning, how to scan. Okay. I do this uh, once a week. I try to come on here and, and show you guys, but we're going to get a little bit more into detail this morning. Um, of course, we've got my scan here. All right. The company that I use, the, the, program that I use to scan is called scans. All right. S C A and Z scans. Okay. Um, I've been using them for a really, really, really long time. I've been using them for years and years and years. Um, and I just like it. I like the, I like their scanner aesthetically. I like the color coding of like the different, uh, exchanges and I'm just comfortable with it. To be honest, I, I find that the newsfeed, um, and the scan itself, I don't miss too much, which is good. Now, how to, how do you, how to scan? Well, there are plenty of ways to scan. And there are a lot of people that sell a lot of bullshit, in my opinion, when it comes to <laughs> trading in general. They're trying to monetize every little nook and cranny that they can because they don't make that much money from trading, if anything. Okay. Um, and one of those things that people like to s sell is like their proprietary scan stuff or AI scanning or algorithms that the first none of that shit works y'all none of that shit works if you're buying a scanner or you're trying to get a scan based off of oh it's got tools that are gonna help me most of the time that's absolute dog shit okay there's nothing there is no unfortunately magic pill you know there is no magic scan there are no magic scan parameters even that are gonna get you to where you want to get to okay um in fact, I have found it to be the opposite, right? The only thing that matters is the operator of the scan, okay? We're all looking at the same tickers for the most part every day. We're all looking at the same scans for the most part every day. So the only thing you can do is get better at eliminating some of the noise, okay? If you're newer, this is going to be much for you. Too many stocks, too much stuff to look at, right? Here's how I scan, y'all. All fucking day. $50,000 volume, right? This is my widest web. If I need to see top percent losers, I can see it. What's gapping down? Oh, ASTI, what? Probably an offering or bad news or something. Nope, offering. Pricing of $6 million public offering of common stock, right? So, I'm guessing they priced it at like 15 cents or whatever, right? So that's what's going on there. Um, CISS announced a reverse split. So I'll see stuff like that from seeing the top percent losers. But generally speaking, what I am concerned with are top percent gainers. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that took a long time. If you need to cut out the noise. Okay. I like to do $50,000 volume just to see anything that's moving to get a big picture of what's going on. Okay. Um, now I can come in, I can go to 5% gain. This is the other thing I'll do. And boom, bam -o, here are my gappers. Okay. 
This is everything doing $50,000 volume. Not that much money, right? $50,000 volume up 5%. Boom. Elimination of most of those tickers and a manageable group of 16 tickers to go through. Does that make sense? I can tell you just from going to the scan, markets are probably gapping down. All right. When, this, when markets have been gapping up recently, I've had way more than this. Um, I can always also look through this and see, let's see, um, software company, biotech, Chinese nonsense, um, biotech, right? Probably biotech or bank corporation. Um, so I'm just trying to see if maybe there's a sector in play, right? Nothing in particular. It's been biotechs recently. If you missed the criteria for my scan, rewatch this when it's done, okay? At the current moment, though, $50,000 volume, 5% change. As the day goes on, or if there's too many tickers, and I don't want to be looking at the illiquid ones, I do this to get a cast a wide web, see what has PR, see what may be popping into the day. As the dollar volume, as the day goes on, I'll switch it to 250,000. And you can see that eliminates a few. And as we get towards midday, I'll drop it. I'll throw it up to like a million in dollar volume, not a million volume, a million in dollar volume, right? A million shares of a penny stock, like two cent stock is not that much actual money going through the stock. Okay. A million shares of a $10 stock is $10 million that has gone through that stock. So it's a bit, so that's why I, I filter out by dollar volume. Okay. Not necessarily volume. Volume tells only one story, in my opinion. What's the price? How much money is going through the ticker? How liquid is it from a, from a money standpoint? Okay. Um, that being said, let's see here. Let's get right into the gappers now. Okay. $50,000 volume. ADIL. Got a catalyst. Data, peer-reviewed publication highlighting promising safety data, high patient compliance and clinical trial for alcohol use disorder, alcoholics. So it's a, it's a, um, some kind of clinical trial for something for alcoholics, which will not work ultimately. Um, from my experience with alcoholism, there's no pill and they won't ever be able to make one. Um, Ah, that's my opinion. Okay. I know they have some pills for cessation and stuff like that, but I don't think they work. I've not seen anyone where that is how they stopped. Um, Emrin, software enhances uh, Microsoft advertising integration. W&W, no catalyst. NA. No catalyst, I'd say. ICCT. No catalyst. ABVC global licensing term sheet. I'm just looking for all I'm doing right now is looking for catalysts. Okay. Looking at volume, looking at float, the lower the float, generally speaking, the more volatile the stock, right? Less shares to be traded. So when volume does come in, they're generally going to be the better movers. Right, so I look at this immediately, right? Jagex, I would say bottom bouncer, stocks at around 10, sub 20, I categorize as bottom bouncers. So we've got a Jagex bottom bouncer. It's not been necessarily the in-play idea lately. A um, little bit bigger float. ADIL is obviously the, the best news and float, all right? So all kind of gravitates towards that. And Emrin, they both have PRs at least, okay? And now we get to the tickers. So I'm gonna take this information and I'm gonna bring it to the tickers. We're gonna go straight to ADIL. First thing I do, daily chart. And yeah, for those asking, yeah, we are running, we're running a free mentorship throughout April, okay? Throughout the entire month of April. For, so for three more weeks, I'm doing a 100% free mentorship, teaching you guys the basics. The basics of what I do, basic strategies, everything from basic candlestick stuff uh, to more, complex fundamental stuff. It's all going down throughout the month. Uh, just make sure to smash the like. That's all I ask as always. If, uh, if you're getting something from the mentorship, uh, if you're already in it, or if you're someone who's going to be joining or just stoked to be here, please smash a like for me. It helps a lot with that. 
algorithms. Um, ADIL, daily chart first. What does it include? Yeah, well, okay, free pre-market prep every single day for the rest of the month. That's in the Discord, though. Um, I'm sending out free written watch lists. I think we might do that in perpetuity. I'm not sure, or forever. Um, a bunch of stuff, okay? Just jump in. Free chat, free everything. Jump in. It's, it's awesome. Um, ADIL already ran. What do I look for on daily charts? I look for stocks that have not ran recently, not on big volume, and haven't ran recently, or gap down recently. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Those two things. I don't want it to have ran recently and I don't want to have to gap down big recently. This one ran recently, okay, on ADIL, unfortunately. And now it's gapping up to the 230. So it's gapping up right already to this area, right? After pushing from a buck, three day move to 415, all the way back to a buck. And now we're gabbing up to the two. So that's kind of big picture in my mind what's going on. Um, a little bit more due diligence, right? A little bit more due diligence. This saved me on Monday. This saved me completely on Monday. Just this little bit of process. Overall risk high. I don't like to see that, okay? So they've got 3 million outstanding warrants and warrants and 4 million current outstanding, right? So... It's not the craziest amount. If they trade a bunch of volume, it's not that many warrants. But you can see where they are. Look, 282. Boom. 282 warrants. 282. I know that if this stock gets to $2.82, right? And this is from when? October 23. Okay. So they're a little bit older. They're from last year. But when this stock gets to $2.23, they can dump, which will happen here already. Right? Already happened here. So I can tell you they've likely been exercising and dumping some shares already. Right now they're gapping it back up to the twos. They're already getting it to the 270s. They're probably going to dump some more shares. But it's not a crazy amount of shares. In context to how many shares there are in the float right now, it is, right? It's like a multiple of the float, almost two times the float. So I know that when this is in the twos, in the 280s, they can dump, right? They got a few million shares to dump. Does not mean I can't trade it? No, it doesn't. But does not mean that this has multiple things going against it in my eyes? Yes, it does. Okay? Yes, it does. So what does that mean? That means if I'm going to trade a dip at all, or if I'm thinking about trading it, i got to let it shake. I can't chase it, right? If it goes through highs and 270, 280, they're dumping. All right? That's the whole point. Right? Small cap is what they do. And this is the whole point of when you know you can stay, out of, stay on the sidelines. You don't have to get caught up in it. LGBN, y'all. Just a quick example, right? Pre-market prep. We did pre-market prep, uh, free pre-market prep for my people, um, for the people on the free mentorship on Monday, right? We talked about LGVN specifically, which was, look, there could be a decent morning single. It's a reverse split pump, one of my all-time favorite strategies and scenarios, right? They did a pump to regain compliance here. They did a pump to regain compliance on the 27th of March. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, day eight. Day nine, they pumped, right? Day nine, they pumped. They dropped a PR. Like we know they're going to. I mentioned this to be the only area in the morning to be buying off of. It ended up working out really nicely going to the fives. But here's what's key. Here's what's the only reason we're looking at LGVN right now. It's because we did this. LGVN said high risk on Monday morning. And this is what we saw. This says S1 offering 235, but on Monday morning, it said S1 offering unpriced, okay? Which means they could dump shares, but we didn't know what price at yet. And I meant let everyone know, listen, it's a pump. It's a pump. There might be some opportunity. Don't overstay your welcome. They're going to price this thing. And when they price it, it's going to drop, right? They priced it, this 235, they didn't price it till guess where? Watch this right there. Okay, they priced it midday. So if you're sitting around or dip buying or doing a bunch of dumb shit or you're, you know, didn't cut your loss or anything that can happen in these tickers on top percent gainers, they priced it midday. And it, where did it go? Straight down to 235. Look, that makes sense. Let me know in chat, please. Right now, let me know 
If this makes sense to you, let me fucking know. Because this is so important. This is why people can't trade small cap successfully. Because they have no process. They don't do any due diligence. And they're learning from some asshole who's telling them to buy through highs. To be this person. The one person I tell you not to be. The one thing I tell you not to fucking do. People, that's all anyone teach. Or they teach to buy it when it dips. So maybe you're not this person, but you're buying it right here. Still sucks. They all suck at trading. I promise. They're not making money long. Straight up. They aren't. Once in a while they are. The rest of the time they're not. They just alert shit. They probably pretend it like bad stuff. So none. it only makes sense to like two of you. <laughs> This is so key. I don't know. There's no even point in talking about trading stocks or trading small cap if you can't get this through your head. That it's a game. The game is to understand that game. And if you don't understand the game, you have no business trading it. You have no business trading stocks, specifically small cap, if you don't understand the game. This is the fucking game, y'all. All right? It's so clear. And guess what? It's a scam, yep. And guess what? You can make money from the scams. It went from three to five in like 30 minutes that morning first. And if you know what to do when you're, you're buying off good levels, then you're the man, right? You can make money here. You can make a lot of money here. But not with the wrong process. This is, and process to me, this is what's always, what has always dictated what I do is avoiding shit like this, right? Which is why I don't buy here ever through high a day outside of like certain afternoon setups that I have, right? And then you got to check the filings and sell to this person, all right? I hope it makes sense to y'all. It makes sense to a few of you, so that's good. Let's move on. So I can tell you ADIL has multiple strikes against it in my book, okay? In terms of conviction. What I'm trying to do, y'all, when I get to my scan, and always what I'm trying to do is to develop some sense of conviction, okay? ADIL, don't really have it. Five minute chart, you know, it's sketchy. The sketchy five minute chart. I'm trying to find what levels make sense to me on a five, 15 minute standpoint. What's holding up? How did the chart look? What levels may or may not hold? And then at the end of the day, I have to remember I've got no conviction in this setup really. To the long side. I go through different time frames to try to find the right areas of support and resistance to work off of, right? That looks about good to me. Pre-market highs I notate. That becomes target, y'all. That becomes a target, not a buy area, but a target on a fade. Potential targets become VWAP if it's below VWAP, which I'm buying under VWAP 99% of the time, y'all. Not above VWAP. Not under VWAP, not over VWAP, under VWAP. Again, 99% of people are going to tell you to buy it over VWAP. 99%. Because it's strong. Yeah. No, thank you. Right? Terrible risk reward a lot of the time. If that's your strategy. Okay? Dog shit, really, to me. I've tried it for a long time. There's no consistency whatsoever. And, but not, it's not just the consistency. It's the lack of good risk reward profiles at the end of the day. ADIL, we already know uh, my opinion there. Emren, a little bit cleaner of a chart here. Risk-wise, a little bit of a bottom bouncer. We do know that they have a catalyst as well. Not the best catalyst, but they do have a catalyst at least, right? A few levels here I'm looking at, and it looks like pretty much of this, okay? So if I'm trading this, ideas-wise, risk-reward's got to look something like this. Right? VWAP, high a day, wherever high a day is going to be becomes a target. And then this probably area right here. And then pre market highs, right? Price targets, sell into them. Okay. Um, or something like this here with first target being VWAP. VWAP and then highs. Whatever high a day is, VWAP, pre market highs. Very simple for me on something like Emrin. Okay. What I do not fucking do ever is buy it up here. Or here, 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 or here. Does that make sense? I hope it does. None of this shit 
has good risk reward to me from a big picture standpoint. All right. Um, Emran is splitting 415. Thank you, Michael, my friend. Good to know. They split in five days. Okay. That's their plan, y'all, is to split. So if they have shares to dump, they will. Um, do they? Let's check. Medium doesn't look as bad already, I can tell you. They've got some months of cash. They do have an ATM. An ATM means they can dump anywhere they want, right? Um, so Emron can dump anywhere they want, right? Good to know. Only levels I'd work are these low levels and kind of take a single if I'm working anything like that. Floats good for 16 mil, 17 mil. Float size is decent for the um, price, okay? Lower float, like 15, 20 million floats, but low price stocks. You have to understand this phenomenon that, listen, if I'm trading low price stocks to take advantage of 10 cents to 15 cents being a 50% gain, I have to size up. Does that make sense? So you got a lot of people trading more shares so they can move, in other words, um, even if they look like the float's a little bit bigger. W and W again, Chinese nonsense. Um, you know, I I look at these like if I can get like some really cheap levels and then take a single. Okay. Um, same ideas though, pre-market highs. BWAP's here. High a day is gonna be somewhere here after the open. And we've got a few levels to work off down here. Okay. Not a big fan of the scan, y'all, this morning. Not a big fan of the scan this morning. Okay. Spy, look, they're spy. Like I was saying earlier, I could tell you from my scan, I didn't even look at spy yet. I could tell you just from my scan, right? That things had changed. So that being said, pump the brakes a little bit. That's my plan for now. I'm gonna pump the brakes a little bit this morning. Just see how things shake out. We've got a couple dilutive stocks that are running. Okay. Um, and that's that, right? There's not too much to it, but there's a lot to it. Most people just get to the scan. You're just like, here we go. Let's fucking trade. No, let's figure out where they're diluting. Let's look at, let's do our due diligence first off, right? A few new splits. Um, little housekeeping. I'm coming to Canada. I'm coming to Canada at the end of the month. Um, so, um, all right. Um, easy with the spam in the chat, y'all. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're coming to Canada at the end of the month. I'll be there. Um, you can hit the site rwtrades.com. Okay. Um, also we're running a free 30 day mentorship all month. Absolutely free. But I'll be in Vancouver. Um, I'll be in Vancouver, May 2nd to May 3rd. Sorry, that is actually. Okay, so you can hit, if you're, for my Canadian Wolves, we'll see you out there uh, in Vancouver. I'm gonna try to do a meetup there, I think, as well. Uh, possibly a free meetup. Um, and then we've got New York and LA slash OC after that. So those are the next live dates. We've got free mentorship running all month. Um, my goal for the rest of this month is just to help you guys and gals as much as I can, all right? Get you a semblance of process, get you a semblance of, um, an idea of what the hell you're doing here. Get you a semblance of understanding what you're trading. And then, and then understand how much, just how much potential there is if you understand what you're doing, but how dangerous it is if you don't. You might as well not be trading. I promise you, if you take the free course that we're running, join the free mentorship. If nothing else, at the end of it, you're gonna be way better off for it. I promise. You'll know whether this is even for you. All right, that's my goal. 
I don't like people wasting their time in this game. And a lot of people do it because either they're not serious or they don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. ZADL I'm watching for a potential first green day today as well. Risk idea is like 450 for me. This 460 area, you know, it's still kind of fading. Still lower highs for now. This is what I'm looking at, by the way. if this trend is going to kind of continue here right or if we're going to break out of it so we'll see um any questions any questions i, I know the markets are open i'm going to take a few questions and then we got to get to wolf pack uh to the di to the discord which is free to join right now y'all like i said just hit the link below spot this live stream sponsored by me and my free shit so Sponsoring my own shit for free and not getting paid for it for free. <laughs> Little more on cattle's first green day here. Um, TCON fresh split, nut X fresh split. Again, taking a few questions. Holler at me. No? Y'all don't want to? Um, Vancouver, though, like I said, end of the month or beginning of next month. So come join me in Canada. A. Um, the next month, we've got New York City. I think we only have like two seats left to that. All right? Join up there. Come see me if you're in New York City. Uh, if not, OC after that. Come see me in OC. Okay? If you're LA, OC. I can't tell you. Like, it, it can be life-changing, guys, to come out to these things and come meet traders in person. But specifically, my boot camps are designed. Uh, it's two days of intense shit to get you where you need to get to. And I have so many traders. Uh you know, who push on because of those. Fucking Jack Kellogg, before he was, you know, who you guys know him as, was barely in the profits and at my boot camps in person, right? Um, a lot of traders that you know who have, who have made it over time came to these boot camps years ago, and they've only gotten better. So definitely get your ass to uh, either Vancouver, OC, or New York City, Okay. Um, I've got special traders coming to all of them. So I've got a couple guests who are going to be teaching you other stuff as well. Right? Wolfie said, you're always mentioning that Billy is the one who buys breakouts in the morning. But what about buying breakouts in the afternoon where there's a possibility of stocks not fading and staying high? Uh, I have strategies for that. Yep. But, my, but the strategy still involves selling some shares to, into highs. That's the difference. Okay, like I play, for example, I played VVPR last week. And if you go to last week's pre-market prep that's here for free on YouTube, um, I talk about VVPR. I talk about how I didn't want to chase it in the morning because it was already spiking without me. Um, I ended up buying it in the afternoon for exactly that reason. Okay, we had multi-day runners. So I ended up buying uh, VVPR on the dip and my average was $5.17. Okay. $5.17 with this approximately 13 cents risk with my conservative risk. And I had a small amount of shares. So um, I bought this dip and the idea was still to sell into high of day, which I got. And I did sell some into high of day, not all of it, just a very small percent. I think I sold 400 shares and I swung the rest overnight or 600 shares. I'm sorry. And swung the rest overnight. And I sold the rest freaking into like nines. Okay. The next morning the next morning. So yes, I know exactly what you mean, but I'm still not, listen guys and gals, this is so fucking important. Please smash the like if you are starting to understand these concepts. I have traders guys who suck or brand new who come in and immediately are trading better than you could ever imagine. I've also got traders who have been trading for five, six years with no semblance of consistency and only losing who have immediately stopped the bleeding, okay? immediately through just applying some of the principles that I teach. And this is one of the main ones is not buying through high of day or here. I was selling some here, y'all. I was selling some here off the dip buy. Okay. And I was selling so the rest of it here where Billy is buying the breakout pre-market and during market hours and 
the more savvy ones, their gurus are like, oh, you don't bite here, you bite here, right? That's what they say. That shit don't work either. Um, I know because that's what I did for a long time when I realized not to buy it here. And all these gurus are like five years behind me. <laughs> all the realizations I had, okay? All the people I see on here, unfortunately. They'll learn or they can watch my videos. Um, this shit, look at the risk reward. It's never good. It's never the same. Even this guy here who is buying, you know, this high day break from pre-market. It's never good. It's never good risk reward from a big picture perspective. Even if you're controlling the trade and this is where you buy it and this is where you risk. Okay, I get that. You know, if there's upside and stuff. In other words, for afternoon plays, I'm giving y'all gold right now, so smash the like. For afternoon plays, I like to have a cushion. If I'm going overnight, I like to have a cushion. Why? Well, shit like this happens pre-market. If I didn't buy here, right? If I was buying like up here, I can't sit through that unless I'm a fucking idiot. If I'm here and I've sold half my shares and locked in, I got to sit through that little bit of pool pre-market. And it didn't affect me. Does that make sense? Let me know in chat, please. Please, 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 please. Let me know if this makes sense. I'm teaching you guys really, really important shit that took me so long to learn, okay? Where to buy is going to affect everything you fucking do. If you're chasing, you're fucked. If you're buying through highs of day, intraday, for no other reason than it's running and you're chasing it, you're fucked. If you're buying as it goes up and up towards high of day, that's where the most shorts, the good shorts are anyways, you're fucked. If you're buying the dip post breakout in the morning, <laughs> intraday highs, and that's all you got, you're fucked. Okay, they're going to break them. They're going to fade it to lows at some point. Okay? In general. Great question, by the way. In the afternoon, yes, I love to try to capitalize on stocks that may still squeeze because there are shorts involved, right? Shorts got to cover. They create volume. Sure, a lot of shorts don't like holding into the afternoon. Sometimes that creates the momentum you need for a gapper the next day. Um, but then again, the idea for me is that I'm selling into it. The idea is, is that I have a cushion going into over my overnights. Okay. So I, so that means usually I got to buy it an hour, two hours, three hours before the close. Okay. That gives me a chance to, if it starts to cut, if, if shorts start to cover, that gives me a chance to then sell for profit and lock in gains. And then on the rest of my shares, have a 10, 20, 30% cushion, right? Because what happens if they gap down a buck tomorrow? Well, I'm still making money, right? I'm still making money. It's a big deal, y'all. It's a big, big, big deal. Hey, Tanner, make a coupon. Make a coupon for my people in the stream right now if they want to come to any of the lives um vancouver um new york city and we'll put it down at the bottom of the video we'll put it in the chat when we get a chance um or oc do like 20 15 do a 15 percent off for those people um just for my peeps in the stream um big big deal right why not have a cushion going into your overnight you know, uh, especially with small caps, so many things go down. So many things go down, like offerings, you know, like just bad news, bad things happen, okay? Why not have a cushion? Why not already have locked in gains? That's my motto. That's why I can sleep in the morning. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Like gap up, gap down, who the fuck cares, right? It's a bonus if it gaps up like 100% tomorrow, bonus. Done my job, awesome, right place, right time again, right? If it gaps down, oh well, that's the huge, right? No big deal. Does that make sense, everyone? Great question. So, again, the idea is always to take advantage of you, the new trader. The fact that they're, they suck. And the fact that someone else is trying to take advantage of you. This is the biggest part of this whole fucking thing. Thank you so much, Tanner. You demand. Uh, free 30. 15% off. RWTrades.com. Okay. Um, for boot camps, you want to come to any of the boot camps? Free 30. Boom. Um, 
Everyone thank Tanner. He's the man. Gets that shit done. Quick. VVPR, like I said. But the, so that the idea is someone else is trying to fuck you. Okay. Retail longs. That's why it gets stuff through highs a day. If they have shares to dump, that's where they're dumping it. Right. Think about it. You have a million shares of a stock. Okay. You have 2 million shares of a stock. And you have it from 50 cents. Because that's where they, this company gave you a million shares or 2 million shares at. And now the stock's at a buck. So now you're up a million or half a million dollars on that money. Okay. Now you're up a million, half a million dollars on that money. What are you going to do? Well, you got to dump it. But so what do you need? You need liquidity. You need volume. You need people buying it. Where does the most volume always come in on these tickers? Through highs of day. Every single time. All right. Let's check today's gappers really fast. ADIL for now. Straight fade. Okay, they consolidated at the gate. Check the daily first. You can kind of see what I'm seeing. Always, always, always go to the daily. Start to get an idea of what that candle is going to look like. I, that's what I start doing at least. I start projecting what's this candle going to look like at the end of the day. Right? This has it panicked enough. Like sometimes I'll get to the daily. It'll give me levels that I need to be watching for panics. But um, let's see. Emren has straight turned already. Little gap and crap reversal. This is called one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minute reversal, right? Low on the pool. Another low that held 47. It didn't quite give me any of these levels down here. And, um, and holding this little bit of support from, from pre-market today. All, well, the entire pre-market it held there. You can even see uh, when volume came in like 8 o'clock a.m. this morning, Eastern, volume came in and pushed it back. So I'm not surprised to see that this little bit of support held as well. And it is what it is, right? No trade for me. As it goes through highs, it's, it gets, I promise you guys, if you can settle into this, you can settle into this. Fuck yeah, Daniel, I'll see you in, see you in NYC, buddy. Let's go. You won't regret it, man. There's, there's nothing better than the boot camps. And NYC is going to be lit, dude. We got um, quite a few six-figure traders coming. I got two seven-figure millionaire traders coming to help me at this one. Surprise guess. Um, same with OC. I got a millionaire trader coming to OC. Um, I'm fortunate to have a lot of friends in this industry in a lot of places. And um, so I'm going to get different points of view, not just my, my own viewpoint. And it's... For selfishly for myself i'm still learning myself every single day you, you you know i hear a lot of influencers come out like stock trading influencers and stuff and pretend like they know everything and i remember being that too you know they're gonna get bitch slapped at some point it's what happens either that or they're just straight lying um i've learned to just like be as open as possible i know a lot about what i know about right which is how small cap works and how <laughs> scammy these companies are and and how amazing it is that you can take advantage of these scams. And because of that, I'm very passionate about that. But I know when it comes to mid caps, uh, big caps, um, options, like a lot of the other things that I'm starting to learn about right now, I don't know that much, you know, in terms of how they work. And I know the patterns still work, though, from all my big cap traders. They tell me, for the most part, the patterns and the idea of being a contrarian and pretty much everything risk reward wise, all that stuff is still bang spot on, you know, and that cuts across everything. Like when I talk to a floor trader from 30 years ago or like 50 years ago, <laughs> they say the same shit that we say trading electronically today, just different tools, different circumstances, but trading doesn't change because humans don't fucking change, man. We are wired a certain way. And when you realize that the game is to take advantage of that, not the markets and stuff, but humans, you realize what the game actually becomes, right? Which is everything that you've learned, you know, when, you, when all these kind of like sayings, like sell the news, you know, follow the smart money. It's fucking true. I, I, I didn't think it applied to small cap. I'm like, this is like wild west, doesn't matter. It applies more in small cap than it does anywhere else, in my opinion, right? And what's big money in small cap? Well, H.C. Wainwright, Maxim people dumping the people who have millions of shares to dump y'all that's who has an incentive to make the stock do something okay anyways 
that's that. Um, we are going to wrap up here in a sec because I do have to get to uh, my pack people and we're going to continue our live webinars like we do every day. One-on-one um, -on -one mentorship. You know, a lot of people have been asking about that. All you have to do is uh, get in my alpha chat or even in the free chat and message Tanner, right? Shoot Tanner a message in uh, DM because we interview uh, for one-on-one -on -one work. When I do one-on-one, -on -one, it's a special time for me, you know, and I spend a lot of time doing it. Um, so I like to make sure that the people that I'm working with are going to be there with me, um, grinding it out. And, and that's sort of the mentality behind that. So, um, you can holler at Tanner, but either way, get in the free room, man. You know, if nothing else, you'll get, you'll get a whole month of guidance from me. Um, that's not on YouTube, right? So. Y'all enjoying the stream? I hope so. I'm going to grab a few more questions here and then I'm going to jam out to my people. Ah, uh, Rajesh. No, I'm not coming to Calgary. The only Canada I'm going to make this year, I think, is Vancouver. I wanted to try to do Toronto, but it's probably out of the question this year. I, you know, I still doing a lot of them this year, just a few less than last year. So, WNW is trying to double bottom here a little bit. No real catalyst there. We got any macro going on in the world? Why spy? Why did spy do that this morning? Because that's a big, that's a big panic on spy this morning. Consider considering, we have some material news, y'all. Jeremiah said I have a problem with getting stopped out on dips, so I have a problem with my entries. That's something I really need to work on. Listen, if you're always getting stopped out, best tip I can give you, wait for the levels you're using to test. Best advice I can give you, okay? Has to lag. Wait for it to test. It's a big deal for me. It, 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 it increased my accuracy big time. CPI, oh, okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Phil. Damn CPI, y'all. Can, can companies, Andy asked, can companies change the price of an ATM they have? How many? Um, the, go. Not the, well, there's no price for the ATM, right? It's at the market. So price is anywhere. Don't have to worry about it. Can they increase the amount? Of course they can. It's going to be based on their shelf though, in terms of how much they can raise. Okay. So listen, if they're, so these companies, for example, right, they can't just say, poof, here's shares that has to be registered. They have to register them with the SEC. They have to tell, and there's a certain amount that they can and can't uh, dump anyways, right? So it's all legal, uh, legal jargon and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, they will tell you exactly what it is. ATM is at the market. Think about it like a, literally an ATM machine. That's how I like to think of it. Any point, anywhere, they can take money out, essentially. They can dump anywhere, anytime, right? Within the context, within the confines of the legal language that, they, that is presented uh, with their offering, okay? Inflation hot. Of course inflation's fucking hot. Shit, man. Thank you guys, though. We're in NYC to where to get a hotel. We're going to be right by the stock exchange. It's going to be WeWork... Uh, Manhattan. All right, but uh, financial district, Manhattan. All right. Um, and then you'll you'll get an email. You'll get a. First of all, when you join the when you join a boot camp, you get access to the boot camps Discord. We have a separate channel for each boot camp, so those people can kind of stay in touch and get to know each other and whatever else. And I and you can stay in touch with all uh, of the announcements. 
that go into that prior to that, okay? Daniel said, I've been trying to get this question out. How does econ data affect small cap land? Great question. Great question. So it's still going to be like affecting three out of four stocks is my, is my, is generally how it is. Okay. So like three out of four small cap stocks are still going to go down. Okay. Dang. Look at Emeryn. Yeah. Great reversal there. All the way back towards highs, right? Which we talk about. And it's all profit taking here. And this, is, this has been kind of that story lately. It's been a bit, we haven't really been getting all the good reversals in the morning have come within five or six minutes and not necessarily pulling to the levels that I'd liked. So I've been missing quite a few of them. But, um, you know, that's, tra that's pretty much trade complete for me on something like this, right? If it were to, were to have gotten to some of my levels that we could have worked off of and I could have sold in a VWAP and high a day. Okay. Um, great part about the best part, and this is really, really important too. This is so important. And I'm going to go back to VVPR just as an example. In terms of where we're placing ourselves, if we're right and when and how, right? When and how we're right. Margin for error right? Margin for error. If I'm buying spots like this, right? And my ultimate goal is 750 and it doesn't happen. It doesn't matter. Okay. This is why I have tar multiple targets and how I've gotten how to reduce FOMO for me. And I'm not like buying it higher and higher after I sell and doing a bunch of dumb shit is I just size out. So I size some out in the VWAP, some out in a high a day, and then I'm happy. Okay. And then I'm happy. And the cool part is, listen to this. Cool part is, if I fuck this trade up, I don't sell it in a VWAP, right? Or I'm sorry, as long as I'm selling into my price target one sum and it doesn't get to price target two, I can still make money, okay? If I've sold here and price target two of high a day and it doesn't get to maybe price target three, that's fine, I made money, right? If I sell price target one and then I get stopped out here on the rest of my shares, that's fine, I made money usually. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Margin for error. It's not just, I have to be right. And if this doesn't work, I'm buying the top, which is what happens in areas like this, right? Where right when you buy it, oops, oopsies, it's the top and it's pulling really hard and you can't control the trade. Then it's like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just add some because it's at a key level, right? Oh, it's working. I'll add some. Oh, no, it's not. Now you're fucking cutting, but it's low a day. And now it's going to turn. You know what I'm trying to say? In other words, there's, there's a flow to this shit, y'all. Right? There's a flow to it. Margin for error when you're buying highs, when you're buying strength, when you're buying through intraday highs, it's so small. It's so hard. Okay? You got to buy strength, sell strength immediately. And you already know that. You already know it to be true. MDIA, yeah, continuing this multi-day, multi-week move, right? Josh, seen a lot of people moving to futures. Do I see myself trading it? Listen, listen, mark my motherfucking words, okay? None of those people have edge in futures. None of them have an actual edge. Not one of them. I've, have I seen, yeah, and you can ask them what their edge is. They don't have any. What the, the reason you see everyone changing to futures, and I promise you this to be true, is because it's the only place left for fucking not profitable traders, but influencers to push funded accounts. It is the only reason they're there. So they can paper trade and fucking push funded accounts. That's what Forex was. A bunch of paper traders getting people in to trade, but then making them paper trade. They put them on a side quest, like, yo, hey, paper trade. Nope, I'm sorry. There's no, there's no person that I know of who trades futures and ha makes a living off of actually trading futures, period. I think Sang Lucci, you know, that's, uh, Sang Lucci has done well with futures and actually trades them. The rest of them are Forex motherfuckers who, keeps, who are literally switching to futures right now 
so that they can keep funding their lifestyle of pushing funded accounts, period. End of story. I've been watching this for a long time and I've been in this game for a decade. Forex was a scam back in the day. They used to do this back in the day, but it got a lot. Forex got like credibility on social media this year and last year is what happened. Unfortunately, you know, um, the whole look at me on my phone, like they show the thing on their phone and then they, you know, it's like, oh, look, I just made $50,000 and they're going to, they're like, look, I got a payout. I got a payout and I'm going to go buy a Lambo with this payout. It's like bull shit, dude. You know what I mean? It's absolute dog shit. And, and they tell you like, you shouldn't trade your own capital. It's all a scam, man. It's all a scam. You shouldn't, you need someone else's capital to trade. Like bull fucking shit, dude. You can't trade your own, you can't, if you can't trade with your own money, you can't trade someone else's money. You think because, uh, sorry, I'm getting angry right now. It just makes me so fucking angry, man. It makes me really angry because, you know, the trading has been hijacked by funded bullshit, in my opinion. And it's all a conflict of interest. I've been saying it forever. It's all a Ponzi scheme where they're taken from Peter to pay Paul, and where they're taken from the losing traders to pay the winning traders. But then the problem is they don't even pay the winning traders half the time. You know, I'm like, this is crazy, y'all. Fuck me, man. It makes me so mad. I can't even, um, you know, because I work with y'all one on one, like my students. And the big thing separator for me in this industry is how much I fucking care about people. And like, I care about my students and I want them to change their lives. Like I got to change mine from actually trading. You know what I mean? So when I see motherfuckers like, hey, putting traders on side quest to go get funded, just to fucking paper trade, like, uh, and sell them a pipe dream, a literal pipe dream, right? When you, they could take that same money, take it to small cap, learn something, lose some for sure. Everyone does. But then do stuff like War Eagle Trader, right? Who's made millions this year. Jack, right? Who was one of my students way back in the day when he was down at 50,000, who's, you know, made nine figures, sorry, eight figures now. So, to me, it's like, uh, and, and not from funded bullshit. Not one person I know who's actually successful. The only, th the only people I consider legit is like SMB, you know, real prop firms where they give you tools and they want you to succeed. So there's like a huge, huge difference there. Um, and I've been watching it for a long time. I've been watching it for a long time. You know, the game and social media, especially on YouTube right now, but it doesn't matter what it is. It's like, look at my Lambo. Hey, I got this from a funded account, which is a horse shit. They got it from selling you funded accounts or from pushing affiliate links to funded accounts. And that's why all the Forex traders are magically futures traders now. They didn't go to stocks or options. They went to futures because they can't push funded accounts and that's all they want to do. Listen, I don't, um, I've seen people naming names in here. Um, I don't, I don't call out people by their names. I'm sorry. Not for me. Right? Just understand 99% is, is my honest opinion of what, of when I watch material on YouTube is it's more like 99%. So I'm, you know, I'm not all about um, dogging on anyone in particular. The whole industry sucks dick. Excuse my French, but it does. Um, listen, uh, I, I'm, I think futures are legit. I'm not saying they're not, right? I think there are legit futures traders out there, even on social media. I'm not saying there aren't at all. I'm saying that what I've watched is the, is those, is the scammers from Forex switching to futures. That's what I've noticed, okay? It is what it is. They know who they are. And, uh... It is what it is, y'all. All right. Thanks for that question, damn it. You got me on a freaking tangent. But I'm passionate about it. It pisses me off. You know, because I work with traders one-on-one. -on -one. I get to know your stories. You know, I look at you in your faces, your dads, your moms, your brothers, your sisters, your people just like me, how I was 10 years ago, you know, trying to make a better life for my fucking family, man. And that's why I take, I take it so personally when I, in fact, I, the reason you haven't seen me on YouTube 
or even social media that much because I don't like them. I don't like marketing. I don't like saying smash the like. I think it's fucking lame as fuck, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if I didn't teach at all, if I didn't want more students and I didn't want to help more of you before you go to other people, that's what I'm trying to do here, y'all. I'm trying to get to you and teach you some basic shit before you go to all these other people and learn bullshit. And then I have to unfuck you in two years because you're going to be fucked for two years. They're going to say it's hard. Trading's hard. That's why you can't do it, which is a lie, right? Trading is really hard. But the reason that you're not getting good at it is because your teacher sucks. Sorry to say it. There's nothing. It's, it's proofs in the pudding, guys. I work with you guys after you've been with teachers for years. And I know that you don't know fucking anything when you get to me. That's the problem. Y'all don't fucking know anything when you get to me. And I'm like, how long have you been trading? You don't know all of these basic things. So, so right now what I'm trying to do is like get out in the world and be like, look, let's not have that happen. I'm trying to get to traders before they get all fucked by other people who are teaching them stuff that doesn't work. And it leaves me less fucking work to do on the back end when you get to me all fucked in your mind because you've been Billy for so long. And, and, I, and I don't blame you. Not only does it make sense what you've been doing in your mind, and that's why you're not making money, by the way, because it makes sense <laughs> to you at first. It's impulsive. It, impulsive it, it feeds your impulses, which are wrong, right? We already discussed. But you got a teacher telling you to do it who says it works. So it's like, oh, so I just got to keep fucking doing this i gotta keep sp fucking smashing my head against the wall because that's what they're doing they're like hey come to the markets here's the strategy yeah it's gonna feel like you're getting butt fucked for two years <laughs> it's gonna feel like two years of butt fucking i don't know if i'm supposed to be saying this on youtube or if i'm gonna get in trouble but uh whatever it's how i feel okay it, you don't have to. You don't got to bend over for two years. In fact, I find it the opposite. If a strategy is not working for like six months or a year, <laughs> put that shit on the back burner. If that's all that mentor has got, go find someone else, man. If your mentor isn't teaching you about risk reward specifically, right? Ratios, how to get be best risk reward about how to enter. If your mentor isn't about where to cut and how to cut first, leave them, you know? Um... If your mentor doesn't is teaching you small cap and doesn't go through filings himself, leave them. Leave them. They're, they, they're too lazy to do enough due diligence to even help you. Leave that fucking person. If, if, they, if they are taking trades and didn't tell you where the fucking danger is, fucking leave them. All right? Sorry, I, I, don't, I don't know what. I'm on a tangent right now. I'm sorry. But I'm just telling you how it is. This is my mentorship. This is my trading style. It's my teaching style. There's no bullshit. I'm not a shit talker in general like about people. But the industry sucks. It fucking sucks, man. And everyone's trying to pull you in a direction to sell you something. Myself included. I'm trying to sell you something. Fuck yeah, I am. But I'm trying to sell you real shit, man. That's going to help. And that is priced way cheaper because it's free right now. <laughs> it's free. Smash the like. Okay. <laughs> It's not like strings attached free. It's free. So click the link below. Jump in. I'm going to, my goal is for this month to get you guys the basics that are actually going to help because there's so much gray area. I remember studying myself like, oh my God, what do I learn? Well, I'm going to take you through it. There's not too much you need to understand to trade small cap. And there's so much you need to understand that's not being taught. Okay. Unfortunately. What we got left for me for the afternoon? Emren, nice push. Nice push. But I promise you, I promise you, even the futures funded shit's going to go away too. And all anyone's going to be left to, because the, the reason people, to, Forex and futures in particular, is it's pretty in, capital intensive a lot of the time. So it makes sense to get a lot of capital, right? I get that. It's, it's preying upon... Your, your, your psychology of thinking that more money it means that you're going to trade better, which is so wrong. It's so fucking wrong, y'all. So wrong. All right? Okay. I got to roll, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. 
If you're an alpha wolf, I'm going to catch you in wolf stage. Yeah, catch you right here. Baka! left ggg uh the rest of you thank you so much for joining me this morning if you're in the free chat we'll be back for pre-market prep tomorrow morning in or video lessons dropping for you today okay that's going to catch you up from what the fuck a candlestick is to what you're trading so we have quite a few cool video lessons coming to you today um if you just join me for the stream i do this once a week right so we'll see you uh next tuesday it will be our next uh free pre-market prep but if not, jump in the free chat, right? Jump in the free Discord, the free mentorship right now. Um, it's, I'll, I'll show you real quick. I mean, let me see, what is it? Free. It's like not a joke. It's like for real stuff, right? Free 30, okay? No credit card. We don't need any of that shit. Once you get in, you'll get access to your little hub, right? You'll get access to the free... Uh, discord and all that good stuff all right thank you guys so much for joining me this morning hopefully it helped if it did please leave me a comment um let me know what you want me to keep working on during this free mentorship um and also smash the like and we will catch you guys soon all right my friends love you all stay safe don't be billy leave your mentor if they're just giving you bullshit every single day Find something different, right? That's been a, that was a big deal for me is to keep finding new stuff, okay? Finding, adding to my process, listening to podcasts, listening to people that I resonated with, and then, you know, kind of discarding the information which I didn't need, which ended up being about 90%. All right, my friends? The link for everything's right down below, right? Free 30. That'll get you into the free, you'll uh, get you into the free mentorship, free watch list, free video lessons, free discord all of that is right there all right um for those looking to join me in vancouver nyc um oc we dropped a link for you guys above as well um i think the coupon code is free 30 right same site you can go hit boot camps vancouver new york city la all right my friends let's fucking go great speaking with you this morning catch you next week